Yo, people, how's it going? It's Fate. I'm back with another Warzone video. And this one, I've got an absolute killer. 20 bomb gameplay for y'all up in here. So, as always, I'm going to show you guys the build, go into some details towards the end of the video. But let me just kind of set the scene. So, this is a very special loadout, all right? I, I haven't shared this loadout with anyone. And let me just tell you the name of the class of this loadout that I have in game. This is my God mode loadout is what I call it. Because for me, this is probably, this is the kind of setup that I'm gonna remember like Warzone for. When I look back at this game, these are the two weapons that are gonna, that are gonna jump out for me. Now, one of them you can kind of switch out, but this combination in general is what I consider to be my god mode loadout so i want you guys to be hyped for this video smash the like button if you guys are new here then make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all of my content like why would you not you'd be stupid not to so stay up to date we've got cold war coming around the corner so get ahead of the curve and look at this guy who just sent me an invite this is the guy that i got the 20 bomb from so i usually play uh like solo duos so i play duos trios quads like on my own so yesterday i <laughs> do my usual like go to the queue go to duos and and, and do it and as you can see it's on don't feel but for some reason i got paired up with this guy and he wants to come back obviously because we got a 20 bomb i think he got five but basically i carried from pretty much most of the game i was on fire i was frying and uh yeah with this uh with this loadout so that's pretty much it i'm gonna let you guys watch the gameplay watch the 20 bomb and then as i said we're gonna get into the stuff but make sure you guys follow my discord or join the discord Link is down below. Follow me on Twitch. All of this gameplay is taken from me streaming live on Twitch. Actually, I actually don't think this one was, but anyway, this is off stream. But I stream every day at 6 p.m. GMT, high kill gameplays. Uh, we do my pro tactic series where I take your gameplays, take a look at them, and I talk through them live on stream, show you what you guys can be doing better to improve your game. Loads of stuff. I could go on and on and on, but it'd be like a you know an hour video. So enjoy the gameplay, and I will speak to you after it. Close. 
Spanish. No problemo, señor. Hablo un poco, eh. Ok, ok, vale. Eres muy bueno tú, eh, jugando. Yo estoy muy nuevo todavía en esto. <risa> Targets. Weapons free, flyboys. This is loaded 2 0. Good copy. Enemy UAV overhead. Let's get to the safe zone, people. Grenade out. Throw it. <coughs> Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Okay. Espera. Está reviviendo, está reviviendo, eh? Se reí, se reí. Buena. Espera, aquí. Mueve. Cúreme, cúreme, cúreme. Veo uno. Aquí, muerto. Muy bien. Oh, buena, Muy bien hecho, buena. tío. <risa> buena, buena. Cinco, eh. Muy bien. La vuelta ya tiene 21. Sí, 21. All right, you crazy kids. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. So let's take a look at the loadout. So this is it. God mode. So the essence is MP7. I'm going to show you the build in a sec. Secondary sniper. AX50. Now, when I was a young guy in Warzone, not very young. This is probably like a few months ago. But anyway, I was rocking the car 98. That's, that is the true god mode. But recently, I've been absolutely slain with the AX50. So during the gameplay, you probably would have seen that I picked up my ghost loadout, which is my ghost sniper, which has the AX50 on it. I've just done that recently, mainly because I wanted to just check out this blueprint that you get for doing something. I can't remember. I think it's the one that you get for doing the, the challenging game. So that's that. But for the god mode, let's break it down. So yeah, MP7, AX50... Then we got cold blooded, overkill, amped. To be fair, cold blooded, you could probably switch out for EOD. I'm running EOD a lot these days because on my like super aggressive, like growl restock classes, everything's EOD, 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 some double time there. But you could switch it out for EOD. Anyway, overkill, obviously, so you have both the guns, then amped for the fast weapon swap. Then I rock that with C4s and the heartbeat sensor now i've been playing um with my restock classes so much that i find it super weird to use a heartbeat sensor now but it does help it does help massively so when i'm not running restock i think it's just best to have a heartbeat sensor i mean just having one stun and then having no chance of getting it back or very little chance of getting it back doesn't really make sense for me so i run for heartbeat sensor but all this stuff is like the lethals and tacticals I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys put whatever you want in there, whatever you feel comfortable. So this is what I'm rocking. So for the MP7, we've got mono suppressor. We've got the FSS recon barrel. That's like the longest barrel that you can get. I'm going to put a, like a stat chart up at the end of this so you can see both the stats break down for this setup on the MP7 and the AX50. So then for the laser, I've got 5 minute laser because I love just to hit fire this thing. I don't think I did it that much in that gameplay. I was ADSing a lot, but... It, this this gun absolutely rocks at hip fire. So then the commando foregrip for when I am ADSing, then I get that really 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 good, um, you know, just control. And then the 60 round mags, so I can take on like multiple enemies, right? So that's the dream. This MP7, especially with uh, this blueprint, this is the one you get in the purple tracer pack. So uh, where is it? Let me just find it a second. So yeah, this is the uh, prototype Omega, which is sick. What ones I've got? Mud Drawbers, probably like the second best one that I would say to put on. Looks really cool. But I've got the prototype Omega. I don't know if that's available anymore. Let me know down in the comments. So AX50 time. 
So my setup for the AX50, and I'm going to talk about a very specific attachment that I think is a very much overlooked thing. I should really do a separate video on this and I probably will do. So let's break this down anyway. So first of all, we've got the mono suppressor. No surprise there. Then you've got the Syngand Arms Pro. Now there's a little bit of controversy whether you should go for the 32 inch barrel. As you can see, you get a tiny bit less range and I can't wait for Cold War to actually like you guys know that you've been around on the channel before. I break guns down. I tell you all like the in-depth stats. But for this, I'm not sure what it is. But it's best just to go with the Syngun Arms Pro. You get this really good, decent damage range addition. So that's that. Then Tac Laser for a quicker ADS because I like to be aggressive with it. Then this Assassin Stock for ADS speed again because I like to be aggressive with it. I use the Stock Scope. Maybe a little bit controversial, but I really don't care. That's what I like to do. You guys can switch it up for whatever you want. This is the secret, right? This is the secret of pretty much any sniper that a lot of people don't run. And it is the focus perk. So what the focus perk does is it makes you or gives you more flinch resistance. I don't know how this gives you... Is it saying that that gives you range? Yeah, I don't know how that happens, but control, I'd say yes. So when you're being shot, basically, or lasered by a Bruin or a Growl or whatever, you don't flinch as much, so you can snipe back. Honestly, it makes you win so many gunfights. So that's the breakdown of that. On screen now, I will put the, the stat charts for the MP7 right now. And you guys, don't forget, you can just pause this and kind of take a look in your own time. And then now is the AX50 breakdown. So you can see the stats. Hopefully that's all good for you guys. Oh, I almost forgot. So just in case you guys wanted to know, this is the breakdown for my car 98. I'm giving you guys so much content here. This is like should be another video. But um, yeah, I will probably do another car 98 video. I do have one. I'll put the card in the top right hand corner. But this is the breakdown. So mono suppressor. You got the 27.6 inch barrel. Tac laser, sniper scope, F-Tac sports comb. So this is all again for just being aggressive. Super like quick ADS speed. The car 98 is, is more of like, I feel it's more of a quick scopers gun. It is just super snappy, like bam. Whereas the AX50, you can like use it for much more longer range. The Car 98, don't think it isn't technically a sniper, it's a DMR. So it kind of feels like that. But anyway, with all that said, thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video. It really does help me out. I'm a growing channel and you don't understand how much likes and comments and things help. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video, what you think of the setup. What is your God mode loadout? That is something I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. Again, follow me on Twitch. This is where I get all this gameplay. Come and see me rock out. Come and join in. I've got subscriber sessions on Sundays. I do my pro tactics, as I said. And yeah, join the Discord. Everything you need is down in the description. Much love, people. Hope you're safe. Love to you and yours. See you in the next one. Peace.